Accra Mall, oh, the yeah. first of its kind in Ghana. Yeah, I remember this the first, first mall. mall in Accra. But now we have quite a number yeah. of them. Or was it the but first mall in the Ghana? Mother. Which year? Uh, this one was built in the year between 206 207. But I want to oh. say ANC Mall was before this one. No, no, right? no, that is not. ANC Mall is 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 not like this one. I think this is the one. Yeah. Like, this is the one we have KFC in. Yes. Yeah. Okay. I've been there four times in 2019, and it's better than our KFC. I oh, say so you love you love you some KFC. Well, it was better. I had to test it. It was better than our KFC. I tell you that. That was like four times. African KFC. So was it was it, was it, was it like hybrid chicken? Well, let me tell you, it was the more. Okay, we have the, we have the. You know, in, in Ghana, if you don't, add spicy to your food, you will close down your restaurant. So KFC in Ghana are spicy to their, their things. So when you go, to ask you, do you want spicy? Oh, no spicy. So, so people, so everybody loves spicy food. So yeah. Everybody love a heartburn. No, you don't have a heartburn. <laughs> no, no, no. It's, like, it's not crazy like that. It's good. It's spicy and crunchy. I like good. spicy. And you get a soda with the little, you know, things. You, you, know, you, get, you get your combo. That's what's up. You excited? <laughs> and don't be up there and be in line. People just go right in front of you. Like you're not even there. That's a witness. Excuse me. Have you ever been to Germany? They, they go oh, I've never been to Germany. No. Yeah. yeah. Go right we stand there. in line. Yeah. That person and came right up there. Go right and push. And I said, you know, I push too. Yes. And that's their culture. Yeah. They, 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 they have a pizza in there. All some different stuff. And then the, the mobile, because I had to add data to my own phone and stuff. So we like some stuff in there. Stuff for the kids. Yeah, you have to park there. Is that parking there? I have to park there. Yeah, I came back to Chocho and I came back to Texas. Yeah, because the whistle that came um, um, a few years back, the Marriott is out here. Oh, okay. Remember the airport? Yeah, airport yeah. city. Yeah, because I hadn't been, before 2019, the last time I came was about maybe six years prior to, and it wasn't there. Even Movenpick wasn't there. And see, I stayed in Movenpick, that was one of the hotels I stayed in, um, in Egypt. Okay. Yeah. Wow, you were well, doing a legend tour. That was part of our whole thing with the tour. In yeah. Egypt. Wow. yeah. That was what, remember when I told you I went 2016, then we went back 17 and 18. Wow, and so we, who do you know? That was one of the places. It was um, Ali, um, Ali Salih, was, wait, Salih who did, he just died. He died the week or two before. Oh, the guys from the 2020, uh, 2020 group? No, 2016, 17, and 18. I think they, it was just you know we took students. I thought they, I thought their organization was called like 2020 no, so, Group or I'm trying to remember the name. No, of. that's not it. What's up? But well, that's what's up. They up in style. It's um it's an 18 month program and it's mostly for the students. We put there as group leaders, and it was 61 of us the first two years and 71 the third. So you have fundraisers and stuff, and uh, you could be a part of the program. Or if they have extra seats, you can go and just pay right out as a, you know as a customer. So I was in the program 18 months. We started 2009. So I was supposed to be in the class of 2011 when we were supposed to go to Egypt, Kemet. And then um, they overthrew Mubarak, president at that time. And then a lot of people were um, afraid to take their kids or let their kids go. So the last big group, they had over 200 folks. That's That was the norm. That's until 2010, people. right. So 2010. So when we saw that, of course, I thought, sure, we were going to go in 2011. But because of the overtake of the tour, I mean, the coup, we couldn't um, go. So 2011, that was out. 2012 was out. 2013. But in the process, they were talking about going to Ghana, you know, or somewhere else. And then that would have been extra money. And I said, no way. I said, Ghana, I said, family, I got connections. No way I'm going there with a tour. Yeah, because after all, so, they started doing Egypt and Ghana, right? Right. So 2000, they went to Ghana years prior, before I even know them. So then 2014, they decided to get a smaller group. So they took like about 40 something folks to 2014. 2015, they did the same thing. Then 2016, they called me and asked me, was I ready to go? I said, well, I've been ready. You are the one didn't have your act together. So I went 2016, and then after that, I loved it. I got a, I got a um, Nubian family in Aswan, so I got a connection with that. Which we're still in touch, so I hope to go back to them. And then 2017, 18, we went back also.
that's the stuff you, you, you're moving all over the place, man. And that's so you went to all of these places people. without money? Uh, yes. So wow. our squad, I was Simba, um, Cairo, and where else was that? Huh? Where's Luxor? So we got to see it back again. The real Nubians, the real Africans. Because the other places is like mostly you know, Arab. When you go to Aswan, they're glad to see you. And they say that it's like the, the country that like neglected them a lot. So that sounds familiar too. So they broke us up in two classrooms because we support the schools and bring supplies and stuff. And they broke us up in two classrooms and they got each one of our names and they let us come to the chalkboard and they showed us how to put our name in Arabic as a, and the um, Nubian language. They showed us how to do you know, that too. And then we drank a lot of hibiscus. Yeah. And then um, some of the people with our group, the students, played with their students and they did the, um, played the soccer, the football. So that was part of it too. And another part we we saw how they That's a serious program they got, man. I gotta yeah. give them good credit for that. That's yeah. a lot of work. That's a lot of we showed, they showed a lot us, of people to organize and manage and they showed us how um they make the alabaster stone, which is one of the hardest stones there is. So they showed that. We went to a place and they showed you how you make, you know, the Egyptian um wool rugs. You know, how to weave that together. And we all had demonstrations with that the papyrus, how they came up with the paper and stuff. You had discipline, um, demonstrations of that. If you want your zodiac sign or whatever, they even shipped the stuff to your house or you could, you know, take it back with you. Mm -hmm. So a lot of us did that. And you know, it was stuff. It was really, it's about 10, 10 days, 10, 12, and we had a, um, Egypt Bear. We took that straight throughout. That is just something that is, that's a, that's a lot of time in and out of Egypt. Mm -hmm. All the pyramids and stuff. Anybody want to go in the camera ride? We all did that. Well, the good thing about it, you know, mm -hmm. we're, we're we're gonna keep you connected to modern Africa, you know, where we can make some moves. Yes. I don't know what we can do in Egypt. Uh, and, 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 and Arabs, you know, Arabs are dangerous at yeah. times, man. And you know what? We're as far as you know, letting other people come yeah. in to do certain things. But they had a big flooding too, and the flooding happened a lot in Aswan, where our people were. So the family that I know there, they sent me like the pictures. And also, they were displaced. Some of them were displaced and stuff. So we sent, you know, money and stuff and funds. And now they have new places and stuff, and they're doing pretty much all right. I go. So work on perfect, perfect. Appreciate the sister and appreciate everybody. Thank you. I appreciate hope you, you enjoy your tour of the mountains today and yes. the yes. Lord. And may you have a very good night. And I'll see you tomorrow, go well in, Thank you. in the I morning, and we'll do the Accra city tour. So, if you have any questions, just keep them in mind, and tomorrow I'll be available. And uh, let's everybody just wait for a few seconds, okay. and we're just gonna go over the quick schedule. All right, so appreciate your Nana and um, driver. Uh, what's your name again, brother? So we don't call you driver. Ah, so Emmanuel. Emmanuel. Yeah. Emmanuel. Yeah. All right, appreciate your brothers. So family, the journey continues. So we'll see you all.